are just for like with punishing and mm -hmm. just kind of like staying grounded and like making you do something. Yeah. And playing their game. So we'll so, we'll see. As far as I can tell, Blue Jay, Blue Jay literally never misses like his out of shield punishes. That's something I know. He's not the type to just like jump Nair out of shield every single time. He like knows exactly how to punish you out of his shield. He's super slippery. He techs everything. He's so good at avoiding your kill moves. Like. It is very. It looked very frustrating to fight. Yeah, it's amazing how those little things can add up. Normally, you know, you don't you don't fight someone and go like, "Oh, I lost because he knew how to punish me out of shield." But <laughs> Blue Jay is like, man, he's he's got a lot of fundamentals going for him. For sure. Oh yeah. And that ink actually being absorbable, which I did not know mm -hmm. until I saw part of this earlier. Okay. Probably trying to catch him pressing a button at a disadvantage or out of a uh, pummel. I think John at this point though is kind of trying to tell Blue Jay that he doesn't he doesn't mind playing the longest game that they have to. He'll just stay up on the platforms and keep PK firing and eventually it'll catch. Okay, nice. S smart double jump magnet in. He is getting a little. Oh man. Okay, down smash out of Barry. Not not the most common, but probably the best option there. I wonder if he caught John before he fixed his DI from mm -hmm. the mash. Just because yeah. the animation is so much faster than like Ford Smash. And this is where Blue Jay, I think, has been like capitalizing the most when he's at high percent. And he's just not dying. He actually went really low there. That was unusual. In their last set, uh, Blue Jay like consistently would mix up his recovery to where he would want John to like waste his yo-yo and he would go high, barely grab the ledge after the yo-yo, etc. John was not hitting like any yo-yos at the ledges on yeah. Blue Jay. But I mean, when you start recovering low, you really can't avoid it. Yeah. The hitbox too active. Okay. See, see what I mean by like slippery, like. John was pressing so many buttons and covering like that complete diagonal space between him and the ledge, and like Blue Jay still got past it. Yeah, that's kind of the inkling special, and he's doing a good job. Um, Not dead yet. Yeah, surprisingly. Oh my god, he caught the PK magnet oh, and got him off stage. Him, like yeah. he's just so fast and proactive. He's one of the most proactive players I've ever seen. Oh Honestly, my god, that caught his jump. Yeah, but it's inkling, so he's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Oh, man. He's also been uh, trying to hit John before, like, the yo-yo even uh, hits. So, like, he'll, like, forward air and hope the forward air, like, if the yo-yo comes out, the forward air will clank. And if it doesn't, mm. or if the otherwise the forward air just hits Ness. So, like, I think that might end up, like, John should be taking advantage of that, where he just, like, waits on stage. Yeah. Um, Waits for him to like, do an aerial and punish it, but it's hard because Blue it's Jay seems hard. to be <laughs> primarily reactionary. Oh my god, John. Yeah, like honestly, what, what options does Ness have in these kinds of situations? Oh! See? That right there. He, he's always able to like position himself so he recovers just past the ledge and avoids the yo-yo and then just gets on the ledge right after. Okay, I think not able to roll in there. Oh, doesn't matter though. Yeah, he's really good about splat bombing back. See right there, Ooh. the forward air on the on the yo-yo. John isn't able to get his like traditional ledge uh, ledge trapping, gimping, edge guards with the yo-yo. Yeah, Blue Jay keep acting like he's gonna go in, but oh no. Like you said, he he knows his shield He knows immediately, yeah. Like it seems like every time he shields, he's just like crossing his fingers that they're gonna do something to it. And usually someone does, cause because it's inkling. It, it gets so frustrating. <laughs> when I hit someone's shield, huh? No. I don't think you know that. Yeah, you know there's not in the single set. Every other stage you could ever imagine is though apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll probably take over this tournament and just give it the, the old 4 or 4 rule set. Nice. I, I think that's a good thing for Georgia, having like more of a unified rule set. Because mm -hmm. Maji and 4-4 four, four essentially run the rate, same rule set, but yeah. Maji just has five starters instead of three. Okay. Yeah, I saw Lilat 
on the stage list. I was just like, okay, well, I guess I only get to ban one stage then. All right. Going to town seems to have served him well against Dongo. So we'll see if he gets more of the same here. Mm -hmm. On one hand, I feel like he was kind of getting some good mileage off of like camping those short platforms with PK Fire. But maybe he'll maybe he'll get more of the same off the middle platform here. Oh my one gosh. of the things about Inkling is like the mid range that Inkling has is so much larger than every other character's mid range, right? It's like Sonic where they can just like their mid range is like half the stage. Yeah. I am at mid range, I can immediately like hit a backer or a forder on you. Like yeah. unreactably at this range. Just that range where you can like whiff like whiff punish and press buttons that like yeah. burst to them. And it's quickly. so far. Like Blue Jay's comfortable with being so far away and I still feel you'll still feel like Did you see the did you see the spacing on the PK fire where he like just like dashed out and oh. immediately dashed back in? Oh my god. I'm super surprised he didn't get a kill off that. Oh no. Uh oh. That's the confirmed percent? Oh yeah, no. not okay. quite. Yeah, I guess he was probably just a little bit low. Nice run up grab though. Yeah. I'm surprised that Blue Jay run up shielded there. He doesn't usually do that. At the same time though, it's probably one of those options that he feels like he's gotta keep keep fresh, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, inkling down toe at ledge is uh, somewhere else. Oh, oh my god. Snipes him out. <laughs> John trying to give him, get him with the spiteful Just PK a little, Thunder. Just a little bit extra percent. He's just, like, and he, he knows that Inkling's dash, like, dash uh, dash dance and dashing in general is just so good. Like, when Ness is in the air, it's so hard to hit Inkling, especially Blue Jay when he knows that, like, extended dash dancing, just, like, being everywhere on the stage at once, you don't know how to hit him. It's yeah. ridiculous. He gets so much extra percent off of these jabs because he cover, covers them in ink. I feel like the magnet cancels, though, have been putting in work for John in terms of, like, messing up the timing and spacing that Blue Jay's looking to whiff punish. Mm -hmm. I'm a little surprised we aren't seeing more of that. Oh, tried to catch him splatter shotting at a disadvantage. Good thought, though. Still not. High yeah, enough. I mean, still wants the percent, I guess. Yeah. It's not the worst thing, because I don't even think that put him out of the confirmed percentage. I think he can still grab. I'm surprised that Blue Jay, like, even tried to roll with John there. Which leaves more patient than that. Oh Ooh. my god, what was that down here? Hello. Okay, charging the up smash and... Oh, he's got to Let's just... Oh, let's it go a tiny bit too early, though. Yeah, usually with the uh, characters with the um, recovery that don't really have a hitbox, Ness can just take complete advantage of, you know, just toss down the yo-yo, it does it for you. Yeah, he probably he probably was afraid of, like, not getting the strong hit. Oh, no. Oh, he just, gotta worry not about ready the, uh, for the landing <laughs> hitbox. Okay. Speaking of landing hitboxes, though, my god, that near. Yeah, the good uh, PK uh, magnet to the... Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Well, I guess that's not the, the worst thing that could have happened. Yeah, damage is damage. Yeah, you're right. I think, um, like, just, like, looking at this matchup, uh, looking at their uh, winner's uh, set and looking at this loser set right now, I think Inkling is just, like, super, like, evasive, and it's kind of, like, something Ness can't really handle. Plus, yeah. um, Inkling also can just, like, run him over, too, which is what he sucks at. Oh, no. Oh, he's back. oh man. Yeah, John. John's normal game plan, I think, is very heavy on, like, catching landings with, like, PK fire and extending advantage from that. But Inkling just has, like, so much mobility that... He never really has to commit to a position where yeah. that like can happen to him, you know. I mean, if you can go that fast and have a low profile constantly, why yeah. do you need to jump? The only reason an inkling will go in the air is if he's trying to ledge guard, just tear him off stage. We're actually oh, going to see the Rob pick. Um, I actually. What do you think about this? Uh, it, Rob wins. Rob. This is like this is probably Rob's easiest top tier matchup. Okay. Like, because uh, because Gyro can control ground. Yeah. And it just works good overall, but I. I'm not sure about John's Rob. <laughs> his, his Rob has some really good stuff. Like, it, I mean, he's like a smart, like situational player, so he he gets a lot off of that alone. But man, he's gonna get comboed. Good lord. Yeah, I and mean, Rob, I think Rob just like handles the stage well. But of course, like Rob disadvantage stage, especially with like how Inkling can just like juggle and just constantly keep you in the air. But, yeah. Uh, you now, like, I I definitely think John's Rob could like show something, but it's very like. I think he tries to play Rob the wrong way, where it's like pressing buttons and hoping for the best. Cause like, 
That's not like, that's not just, it's just not the way you want to play in general. But I mean, sometimes raw buttons do work, but eventually they won't. <laughs> he does have a good button or two. He's got Oh two. man, yeah, Blue Jay going all the way out there. He knows Rob doesn't have enough, uh, he doesn't have the kind of hitboxes that can contest that edge guard. Okay, look for the snipe. Oh, does catch the rolling, but it's a little bit, a little bit slow. Yeah, I think he's just trying to uh, catch him uh, jumping over the gyro. That's also another thing, since um, uh, planting the gyro on the ground, you can just uh, call out a jump with either a laser, or if you want to get a little more committal, you can do a, uh, a raw back air. And he kills very early, but at this percentage, Ooh. almost anything will kill, but not that up there. Honestly, though, the gyro kind of putting in work right now. I, I feel like it's doing what it needs to do for him. Yeah. My own experience with this matchup, you know, as Samus, is that you basically just always have bombs out for pretty much the exact same reason. Yeah, basically. Like if, if they can't do their normal grounded stuff, they just have to like jump at you. And they yeah, then they have to them. adapt their game plan, and it doesn't get easier. Yep. Oh. Yeah, he's he's starting to scare him into shield though. He. I he is scaring him into shield, but like he's not really taking advantage of it. Like yeah. with with gyro. Like, for example, like gyro controls ground. So if something is on the ground, what are you going to do? You're going to jump. So you can yeah. call out a jump with a fair or a laser. And like, like he's throwing a lot of things at him, but like, I'm not sure if like a lot of them are like hitting. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like this is one of the few characters that might actually be able to abuse his buttons against Inkling though. Like if you down tilt Inkling's shield, what's, what's he do? Oh yeah. He just yeah. jumps out, right? Is there anything else you even can do there? Uh, not really. I mean, he has up smash, but I just don't think up smash is that fast. Okay. Yeah, see, like, um, a lot of just, like, Rob's plan against Inkling is just kind of, like, um, just kind of, like, slowing down the pace of the match, because, like, Inkling kind of likes to run you over. But, yeah. Uh, like, with what Rob can do here is just, like, he just slows everything down to where um, Inkling kind of just has to, like, adapt his game plan a little bit. That's super annoying, too. The top, like, keeping him from even catching the landing. Oh! oh yeah. yeah, not like that. Man, that's super unfortunate. He he caught the jump off platform. He just missed the up smash timing. Blue Jay looking in a good position, though, to take the second set off, Jonestly, though. Too Man, good, for a Wi-Fi warrior who kind of came out of nowhere, he's... No, he's I, was actually, I was actually talking to uh, Vendetta in the car, and um, he was uh, talking... He looked at the bracket, and he said... Um, he was like, oh, wow, Blue Jay's there. I'm like, really? Like I had, I had no idea who he was, but he told me that um, they had gone pretty even, if not uh, beating Vendetta and sets on Wi-Fi. And you know, while Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi, like I think, like while just it's watching him play in person, it's definitely showing he's in, he was in winners lose uh, winners finals, and now he's in losers finals. Yeah, even the Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi is only going to give you so much of a buff against yeah. a player like uh, Vendetta. Yeah, All right. he's definitely going to kill. Inkling, not uh, not too heavy there. But uh, Rob at 66, not completely undoable, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like Rob kind of just, like, starts every stock at, like, 80, you know? Yeah. Like, it's right. just definitely one of those characters where, they're like, oh, you get hit, well, you're in disadvantage till I, you know, till nothing connects anymore, which for Inkling takes a long time. I think, like... Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's way out of Booyah, but... That oh, jump, takes it, though? Yeah, oh, man. Down. Good stuff to Blue Jay. Blue Jay, you can stay, dude. <laughs> you're in, gr you're in grands, bro. Where are you 